In this episode, we are going to be looking for the four healthy signs of a thriving mature reed tank. Have you got them in yours? Let's see if we can spot them in the little Red Sea Max Nano. Excited for this one? You've guessed it. Let's roll those titles. So here's a little impromptu video, guys. I wasn't planning on doing this one today. Yeah, most of the videos that we do on the channel take a few hours, but I thought, you know what? Sat here on Father's Day, cup of tea and a biscuit. Let's have a little look and just put it on YouTube. And if this is something that you think is going to work well, these little quick videos, then I might make a few more. Mm, it's, uh, it's looking quite nice today. What I'm going to do as well is just show you three signs that... that show that your tanks do really well. So we're going to start with sign number one, which is coralline algae. There you go, look, this pink stuff. It grows all up the back walls, it grows on your glass. You have to kind of scrape your glass, you can just see it here, look, just underneath the urchin. That coralline algae is a really good sign of a healthy reef. You can just make it out there as well on there. So that's one sign to look for, guys. If, you, if your tank's got nice coralline algae on the rocks, you can see it growing on the rocks there, <laughs> the clownfish there. You can see it growing on the rocks, yeah. You can see it growing on the glass, you can see it growing on that back wall. Yeah, coralline algae is the first sign to look for to show that your tank's in a good place and it's, you know, you're getting, you're getting there with creating a nice balanced ecosystem. The next one to look for is, let me just drop you down here, guys. Oh, there, geez. Beautiful fish, that's my fire fish there. There's my holy girl Micromusa. So the next one here, guys, it looks a bit grim, but it is a live sand bed. Yeah, so you can see all that kind of that green gunk, and then there's things kind of poking out of it, little creatures knocking about, little microfauna. So a live sand bed is a sign of a really established healthy tank. You can see these like little spinny odd work. Spinny odd and uh, spinny odd worms, you can see it around that little frag plug there. That's all part of the ecosystem that shows that it's healthy. There you go, you can see the spinny odd worms there. Really healthy sand bed, that layers of detritus is actually a good sign of a healthy, of a healthy reef. You, know, you look around your reef and you just notice little things all the time happening, uh, and you know, it's never a Never a dull hobby. There's always something going on with your corals, your livestock, your clean-up crew. Oh, she's gorgeous, isn't she? She is absolutely gorgeous. There's the Blenny. He likes to just sit about on the rocks. He's super happy as well, super healthy. I think he thinks he's getting fed. Sorry about the shaky camera work here. You're getting a really good... I just thought I'd pick up the camera and just do a quick video. If it doesn't work, if it's no good, then yeah, just let me know in the comments. So the third sign of a healthy reef tank, guys, is sponges. So you can see these little white sponges. And you can see right in the centre of the shot now. These are called pineapple sponges. And these are... <laughs> Fish, get out of the way! Uh, these are a really healthy sign of a reef tank. So they are natural filter feeders. They'll fi filter the water column. They'll clean your water for you. They'll take out any things from the water that's not needed. But also they're just... Um, they're really pretty actually, yeah. So the, the bright white, they tend to be in areas of lower flow. But yeah, natural sponges, you can see it there at the top of the roof of the arch. <laughs> the clownfish constantly get in the way, don't they? But yeah, they're just up there. So that's your third sign of a healthy reef. Just check out for some sponges, usually in those darker, more shaded areas of your reef tank. But a fantastic sign if you spot them around. So the last major sign is amphipods so if you can see amphipods that amphipods they're normally a really good sign of a healthy reef tank as well and they look like tiny tiny little shrimp now they often hang around in the in the filter sock or in the filter floss or underneath like anything that's like a plate so they tend to shelter so what I'm going to try and do guys is you're going to lift up this micromusa uh, which is here. Uh, look at the Micromusa A can, it looks stunning, doesn't it? I'm uh, going to lift this up and hopefully we can find some underneath here, just kind of sheltering. So they'll be really tiny. I don't know if there is any under here, but let's have a, 
quick little look, see if we can get this lifted up here. Maybe not. It's going to be tricky. I don't want to put my hand in the tank if I can help it. Oops. Just trying to lift it up with this. Oh, nearly there. Lifted a corner a bit up there. So let's try and lift it. There you see it, do you see? See it? See it skipping around there? They're amphipods, you see them? Yeah, they're a really good sign, guys, of a healthy reef tank. So there's two or three under there, I think. They're tiny, tiny little shrimp type creatures. Well, amphipods, that's what they are. Uh, but they're a sign of a really healthy reef tank. They've just skipped under the rock work now. But uh, they often hang out in sheltered areas or um, areas where there's a bit of detritus because that's what they feed on. So there you have it, guys. Yeah, all the signs of a healthy reef. The four signs there that we were looking for. So we had the coralline algae. We had the live sand bed. The sponges. Often you find sponges in the sump as well. And then their little amphipods. They've skipped off. If the fish would have seen them, they'd have been... They'd have been supper. Anyway, speaking of supper, I've got some live brine shrimp. Let's chuck that in and see uh, see these fish feed before we go. So I've just strained off. Hey, give me that thunder. Oh my God, another thunderstorm. We had a really big thunderstorm last night. Anyway, sidetrack over. Let's, uh, let's have a look at the brine shrimp there. Uh, they are wiggling around a little bit. They're a bit cold, to be fair. They've been in the fridge. But anyway, the fish will absolutely love these. So let's just turn the flow off slightly. Turn the wave maker off, guys. Sorry about <laughs> sorry about the amateur filming. Here we go. Right, and then all I do once it's all strained off there. Yeah, we just bob these in and watch them feed. There we go. Look, what a treat on Father's Day for all the uh, look at that. I'm just get a feeding frenzy going on now. And this is where I usually like to just sit back and just sit in the chair and watch, see what see what's happening. Watch the feed in. There's a lot of brine shrimp in there. Full full pack of brine shrimp's just gone in. So like yeah, feeding bit of a feeding frenzy there. But usually within about five five minutes, I'd say. Yeah, it's usually gone. Some of them make their way down the overflow and feed things at the uh, in the sump that's living in there just uh, feeds everything doesn't it feeds the corals it's a nice soft meaty foods uh, you can see them there actually if we can we focus in you can see them swimming along they are a bit small though yeah maybe we could change the lens and we could be able to see some of them swimming a little bit but yeah the, it's all about a range of foods a range of everything you've just got to get a right nice biodiverse reef so a range of foods range of life in there a little bit of algae is great as well in it all adds to it all adds to that healthy reef so i think i'm just going to uh, end the video here hopefully you've enjoyed this little impromptu video and uh, if you have yeah give us a thumbs up if you're not subscribed what are you doing yeah hit that subscribe button it really does help uh, it gives something back to the channel. It makes me uh, want to make more videos for YouTube and for you guys that are watching. So yeah, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Uh, and yeah, check out our Friday night live stream every Friday, 8 p.m. GMT time. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can see all the updates from our reefs with me, Fish Palace, Bearded Reef, and Steve from Monks' Aquarium. So on that note, guys, I'm going to sit back and just watch the end of this feeding. Uh, but for now, have a wonderful, all the dads out there, have a wonderful uh, Father's Day. And uh, everybody else, have a lovely Sunday evening. Take care, guys. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.